Hi guys, welcome back to the web. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the future of authors. Now, this is a headline, the future of authors, and this was done by CNN Business. It's a fairly new article, it's like two days old. So, let me continue. It states that on the southern edge of Brussels, where the city turns to suburbs, the future of Germany's most successful automator is taking shape inside a peculiar sort of car factory. Here, there are no exhaust pipes, transmissions, or fuel tanks. There are no spark plugs, radiators, or manifolds. What the Volkswagen Group factory does have, however, are batteries stacked to the rafters. 36 shoebox size battery modules, each containing a dozen lithium ion cells, are packed into 7 foot long electric battery packs and slung under the floor of each sport utility vehicle produced here. The first electric SUV from Volkswagen's luxury Audi brand, the e-tron, can go 400 kilometers or nearly 250 miles on a single battery cycle and be charged in as little as half an hour. The styling is conventional, the interior is luxurious, and the ride is nearly silent. The e-tron SUV has one job for Volkswagen. Prove that a car maker that has rallied almost exclusively on the internal combustion engine since it was formed sorry since it was found 82 years ago can produce electric vehicles people want to buy and policymakers will embrace as they cast around for ways to tackle the climate crisis success means that Volkswagen will overtake rivals, including Tesla, in electric car sales and fend off new challengers from China and Silicon Valley. Failure could signal the beginning of the end of a company with 665,000 employees and annual revenue of $265 billion. Volkswagen isn't alone. Established car makers around the world are ripping up their business models in the hope of adapting to a new world in which electricity replaces gasoline and diesel. Factories are being overhauled to produce electric cars and automakers are snapping up every battery they can find. The highest cost of developing electric cars is forcing some companies to find partners and turning others into acquisition targets. The need to meet strict emission standards in China and Europe means that executives are paying far more attention to the policies being put in place in Beijing or Brussels that what rivals are building in Detroit or Wolfsburg, Volkswagen's hometown. The German group, which also owns Porsche, Bugatti, Skoda, Lamborghini, and SEAT, or SEAT, is rising to the challenge with a radical transformation that is unparalleled since World War II. The company 
is spending 30 billion euro or 34 billion dollars over the next five years to make an electric or hybrid version of every vehicle in its lineup and it plans to launch 70 new electric models by 2028 by the end of 2030 it wants four four of every 10 cars it sells to be electric a mass market play that hinges on the success of a new line of vehicles called the ID the overall has profound implications for the world's largest car maker as it tries to turn the page on its costly diesel emission scandal Volkswagen is spending billions of dollars to retrofit factories from Germany to China to produce cars based on its modular electric car production platform or MEB the company has also signal that it will use some of the money it makes from selling fuel powered cars to produce its own batteries and build charging networks the initiative are expensive but the levels of investment by Volkswagen and its competitors coupled with the aggressive emissions target set by regulators show there is no turning back all of this leads to new questions can Tesla maintain its lead in the global race to the electric car and this is session one of this article we'll continue to the next one and you guys can like and subscribe it will really help with the YouTube channel and the YouTube algorithm. See you in the next one.